नमस्ते सलाम वनकम सत श्री अकाल वेलकम टू जी कनेक्ट विद मी शामली द शो दैट कीप्स यू कनेक्टेड विद एवरीथिंग दैट्स हैपनिंग इन द सिटी वेल वी हैव अ लॉट लाइंड अप फॉर यू टुडे वी हैव द 60th एनिवर्सरी सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ रेनबो मिल्क द एनएसएल बास्केटबॉल लॉन्च द लॉन्च ऑफ द सैफरन मैगजीन द ब्राइट स्टार एक्सेसरीज लॉन्च सो मच लाइंड अप अ पावर पैक्ड एपिसोड फॉर यू टुडे लेट्स किक स्टार्ट बाय चेकिंग व्हाट्स ट्रेंडिंग ऑन द सोशल मीडिया इन आवर सेक्शन व्हाट्स बसिंग On the event of his 40th birthday, superstar footballer David Beckham was feeling rather generous and decided to gift his fans all around the world by joining Instagram. You have to check out the opening picture that David chose to share on Instagram, a pretty much out of bed look that explains his instant fame on Instagram. Believe it or not, in a matter of a day, he gained about 3.4 million followers, beating his own 16-year-old son Brooklyn, who now has about 2.3 million followers. Prior to this, David Beckham was more popular online on his official Facebook page with about 50 million likes. For those who don't believe that diplomats have a sense of humor, you have to watch our next story. The German Embassy of India in an effort to connect with the people of India have recreated the popular video of the song Kal Ho Na Ho with Michael Steiner the German ambassador of India playing Shah Rukh Khan his wife Elise playing Preeti Zinta and Salman Khurshid the former foreign minister of India playing Saif Ali Khan if you cannot believe it you have to watch the video this is their tribute to the Indo-German cultural ties take a look बदल रही है रूप जिंदगी छाव है कभी कभी है धूप जिंदगी हर पल यहाँ जी भर जियो जो है समा कल हो न हो हर घड़ी बदल रही है रूप जिंदगी छाव है कभी कभी है धूप जिंदगी हर पल यहाँ जी भर जियो जो है समा कल हो न हो संभालो पागल दिल को दिल दर के ही जाए पर सोच लो इस पल है जो वो दासता कल हो न हो
This video up till now has received 9 lakh views, while it also received some flag questioning if diplomats should be humoring their positions. It has also received a lot of appreciation even from the likes of Shah Rukh Khan. Well, as for us, we applaud their efforts, especially the perfect lip syncing and their sporting attitudes. This new idea of diplomacy is something we are starting to like. Well, it's time for us to take a short break, but I'll leave you at Ritz Carlton DIFC, where Bright Star, one of the world's largest distributors of mobile accessories and wireless devices, showcase their new global accessory capabilities. You take a look while we take a quick short break. launching uh, 12 brands for the Middle East and North Africa region. We have brands like Selly, which is a general accessories all range brand. Then we have uh, Jays, which is a headphones and speakers brand. And then we have uh, Jabra, Harman Kardon, Bank and Olufsen, uh, Adopted, Caden, Steel Series, which is one of the leading gaming brands in the world. Case Power, which is number one uh, uh, power brand in the world. So it's, it's uh, a uh, mix of all the categories and, and we've picked up the key brands in all the categories which some of them were already there in the region and the others uh, we're bringing to the region. Today we're here to mark the global expansion of Brightstar's accessory business into the GCC region uh, together uh, with our partnering brands. Welcome back to Z Connect with me, Shamali, and it's now time to keep you connected with all the events in the city in our section Events and Happenings. We witnessed the grand launch of the magazine Saffron, the Society Insider. Interestingly, this is by the same group that got Femina and Filmfare to the Middle East, and it's now going big by launching this local magazine, Buy Dubai for Dubai. Well, it was a party that went on till the hours of the morning celebrating this edition. Let's take you straight to JA Ocean View Hotel JBR, where this launch took place. <music> So I am with the publisher of the Saffron magazine, Madhu, welcome to Z Connect. Thank you so much. I feel you are a lady who doesn't rest. I met you a few months back for the launch of the Femina Middle East and now we are here for the launch of another magazine. Why the need for this one? I think we, we did actually, this was, uh, there was a research going on. We would, we've got Full Fair Middle East and then Femina Middle East and um, this was a title missing one in our publishing, uh, as a publishing company. And uh, while we did our bit of research, we realized that there was a hole uh, which was to celebrate Dubai. So the, like the magazine says, it's for Dubai, made in Dubai and mad about Dubai. Wow, so we finally have a local magazine that is not outsourced. Yeah, like I say, after nine months, after delivering um, Femina Middle East, we delivered a very healthy, happy, homegrown baby. <laughs> that is really good news for everyone. So what is the category you'd want to put this magazine under? A lifestyle magazine? It, it is absolutely what you got is right. It's a lifestyle magazine and celebrating uh, life. Um, it's got everything. It's something that really to, to, to look forward to. A bit on health, a bit on, uh, on people, celebrating people, life, uh, easy to do things, uh, fiction. So there's a lot, lot there, yes. Brilliant. Thank you, Madhu, for talking to us. So much for having me. Thank you so much. Althea and Madhu Arora have put this really beautiful uh, magazine together called Saffron and it's going to be crazy. I'm so truly thrilled and I just want to congratulate everybody in the team. Uh, it's a great initiative and uh, I really wish all the success and splendor to the magazine. It feels really good to be here. Firstly, it's really nice to be back in Dubai. Um, I, I was here 
maybe a couple of months ago I came here for a concert. You know, it was a very different kind of experience. So here we are, I mean, launching a magazine, Saffron. Uh, firstly, congratulations to Althea, to Madhu, uh, to everybody involved with the magazine. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. I look forward to reading it and I'm sure everyone in Dubai would love to. Saffron magazine is being launched by a lot of uh, my friends. The editor-in-chief is Althea Koshal, who is the writer of Happy New Year. And uh, of course, Madhu Arora, who is the publisher, Dheeraj Saluja. So they are, it feels really nice that they are coming up with something like that and that they thought of me when they wanted uh, to launch it here in Dubai. Moving on, the Rainbow Milk celebrated its 60th anniversary by branding an entire helicopter that carried a huge can of Rainbow Milk across the Emirates and finally landing at Al Majaz waterfront Sharjah. What a spectacular campaign to mark the event. Let's take you there. So we're here today for the, to celebrate the 60th birthday of Rainbow. It's been 60 years that Rainbow has been in this region and we've been organizing a lot of activities and uh, one of the main activities is that we have a helicopter flying with an actual rainbow can underneath it and we're flying across the seven emirates uh, of UAE. Uh, now today uh, uh, the heli is flying from Dubai to Sharjah and Asman and it's coming back here to drop the can. We are uh, celebrating a 60 year, year uh, in the country uh, with Rainbow, Rainbow Milk uh, and we are doing a lot of promotion and activities for the consumers. Uh, so what you see here is one of the activities which is getting carried out. Uh, these are the people who have made it an absolute love mark for the region. Uh, and what you are going to see now in the time to come is a 1955 first can of Rainbow uh, landing here before it makes its way to the Dubai Museum. Moving on, after the initial success of National School League Cricket, Sports 360 has gone ahead and now launched National School League Basketball at the stadium store Dubai Mall. Shavan Oldham, the former teammate of Michael Jordan and Chicago Bulls was also there to mark the event. Let's take you there. and an NSL Basketball League are going to really be able to put a footprint here in the UAE for basically, I think, the evolution of basketball here. I know basketball is growing in popularity even in India. I mean, China, Japan, Korea, and now it's really starting to make an impact here in the Middle East and the UAE. So I think 360 Sport and I think the NSL League are going to be a great combination and great tool to launch basketball here on a serious platform. After the success of the uh, National School League for Cricket, we decided it was about time to also engage all our keen basketball fans. There are lots of nationalities in this country who live and breathe basketball, be it the Americans, the Canadians, the Filipinos, the Egyptians, the Lebanese. Uh, we're really excited to engage all these nationalities together and have them also embrace all these positive values of respect, of fair play, of 
fighting for your teammates and we're very very excited because what we saw today with the engagement of all these kids coming uh, sitting next to Jawan all them and uh, you know managing to to, to, to play with him uh, on the field and managing to 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 see him uh, perform you saw the excitement in their eyes and in the next few weeks, they're going to all battle it out to become the under-13s and the under-15s NSL champions. Well, it's now time for a short break, but we have some more exciting stories on the other side, so stay tuned to Z Connect. Welcome back to Z Connect with me, Shamali, and it's now time to talk some fashion. Splash recently launched its super cool and vibrant summer collection under the banner Splash Love Summer. Let's take you straight to Sofitel Hotel JBR and check out their summer colors. at Splash uh, usually celebrate our collections and today we are celebrating uh, the Love Summer collection. This collection for the men specifically is nautical and tropical and a lot of combinations between the two. So it's a very exciting mix uh, with a lot of nice colors. We have added with the nautical colors the greens and the blues. So just to spark, uh, spark the collection up. On, on the women's wear it is mainly tropical and there's a lot of bling, there's a lot of cover-ups and to spike the colors we have used like the colors of reds and yellows so it's a very very bright, cheerful and um, an exciting uh, collection so I'm sure you must have seen it. Splash on LandmarkShops.com, you know, to be the official e-commerce partner for Splash. Such an amazing brand that Raza and the team have kind of like built. So incredible. Um, where Splash on Landmark Shops is now over two years old and we've really grown from, from where we launched to where we are now. We've really, really grown and um, we're working hard on getting better and better. Uh, we know the space is getting more competitive, but being part of the Landmark Group, we know what our strengths basically are. We know the strengths of the amazing brand of Splash and the, the fantastic store network, you know, and the, uh, the brand that Raza and team have basically built. So we're incredibly excited and it's, it's just the beginning. Moving on, in support of SNF, that is the Special Needs Future Development Center, Al Maktoum Foundation conducted a special gala dinner, calling it Dine Indeed, because the proceeds from this went ahead for a noble cause. We caught up with a special guest for the evening, who was singer Sunidhi Choham. Let's take you straight to Le Meridian Airport Road. Well, I'm here for a beautiful uh, reason. Um, Safia Ji, she, she has a development center called SNF, and uh, I'm here for the gala dinner. They do it every year, so this time I've been invited and I'm most elated to be here. And it wouldn't have been possible if uh, I was not, uh, if I did not know Ajay, you know, who actually brought this idea and, and I was very excited about it. Uh, generally we do shows together, but you know, this was a wonderful uh, reason for me to be here. So I said yes and, I, and I'm glad that I'm here. Uh, we're gonna see some beautiful performances by the kids and and yeah, uh, I'm just here to have a good time. Uh, that show, The Voice, is going to be one of its kind, one of a kind. And uh, you know, there is a lot of excitement in the show. I wouldn't like to talk about it. It's better that you wa watch it. And I'm happy to be the coach on the panel. And there are other judges too, the other coaches too. So it's going to be a fun ride. Yeah, you know, blind auditions when you don't get to see the personality or who's singing, and you just turn around and you get surprised. I think that's going to be the most exciting part of the show. People are too kind. <laughs> they compliment me from, uh, th you know, in their own way and from various ways. So it's beautiful. Thank you so much. But yeah, uh, I'm still me. 
I am uh, Sunidhi and I like to be myself. I like to uh, cater as, uh, you know, to the best of my ability and that's all, all I'm here to do. I like Move On from Tanu Vets Manu. I love Piku that I'll drag. I like all my songs actually. I am what I am because of my songs, so uh, there's no favoritism. Or piyare kis gaye saare dard bhare nagme, ab rap vap sa rock walk sa bajta rag rag me. That is all for this week's episode of Z Connect. If you have any feedback or suggestions, do write into us on our Facebook page or on our Twitter page. And if you have any interesting stories to share, do send them to us and we'll be more than happy to share it with our viewers. Well, that is all for this week. We promise to be back again next week with some more exciting stories and events. Till then, this is Shamuli saying goodbye.